So, 2024, an election year, in we've already had the party leaders out on the rounds, doing the interviews, out meeting the public already, fast out the traps. How do you see the year playing out? Um, I think Sunak is entirely correct when he says that it's going to be happening in the autumn. There was a lot... Because we saw his statement last week sort of prevaricate rather obviously and be like, oh, almost certainly the autumn, but, you know, leaving the door open for a May election at the same time. I think it's very unlikely to be May for the simple reason that he thinks he's going to lose and he doesn't want to not be Prime Minister. So the later he can push out that date, the more likely he is to do so. OK, well, from the last week, we had, I say, yet another half-hour speech from the Honourable Gentleman. And what a surprise, yet again, it didn't contain a single new idea. With no plan, no progress, with borrowing, debt, taxes increasing, and the country heading in the wrong direction. What's their plan to resolve this issue? Right, because there isn't a perfect answer. It's not an easy problem to solve. He doesn't have a plan. But I've got a plan. Instead, we should stick with the plan that is starting to deliver the long-term change that our country needs, and that means a brighter future for all of you. Just this weekend, we're delivering on our plan. All slogan, no plan, Mr Speaker. He picks the people smugglers over the British people, and he can never be trusted to stop the boat. He doesn't have a single single practical idea about how to stop the boats. There's no plan. We've got a plan to stop the boats. He doesn't have a plan. He doesn't have a single idea. It's crystal clear, Mr Speaker. Stick with us to deliver the long-term change that the country needs. Don't go back to square one with him. Mr Speaker, we should smash the gangs, process the claims and end hotel use. That's our plan.